Hi, it's Susan here and welcome to In The Craft Room. Today we've got issue 31 of the Peter Rabbit Patchwork Quilt Partwork and we're making Mrs. Tabitha Twitchett applique character square. With issue 31 you will receive the beige spot backing fabric. You'll also receive another piece of bonder web, a piece of white, light grey and rose. Another piece of fabric that you'll need is the cream for Miss Tabitha Twitchett's apron and the cream was the leftover piece from issue number 29. I think it's a bit too plain so I'm going to be using the ivory sprig for her apron. This is a piece that I had left over from a previous patch. It's a piece that I've substituted the fabric for this and I'm going to use this for her. Like with all of our applique character squares, I've accessed the template number one from the back of the book and I'm going to trace all of Miss Tabitha Twitchett's pieces onto the bonder web. I'm making sure that I'm tracing on the paper side with the webbing side down. We've got a lot of tracing to do. I'm going to be very careful and economical with my piece of bonder web. So I've traced out all of her pieces onto the bonder web. I've traced out some additional shapes which are her inner ear, her tabby markings on her head and the rim around the teacup and the handle. I'm not going to embroider these elements to the applique. I'm going to be appliquing those particular pieces and that's why I've traced them out. The fabric I'm going to use for these extra pieces are this pink for the teacup, this beige, creamy beige for her inner ear and this colour for her tabby markings on her head. It's time to carefully cut out all of these pieces. They're quite large and quite irregular and fiddly in shape so I'm going to take my time. So all of our bonder web pieces have been cut out carefully and placed on their designated fabrics. My next step is to press the pieces onto the reverse side of the fabric. I'm then going to cut them all out really carefully.
all of Mrs. Tabitha Twitchett's pieces have been cut out carefully, the next step as they suggest in the guide, is to trace out the reversed image onto your backing fabric using a light pencil. I'm not going to be doing that. I'm going to be placing down my applique pieces by looking at the guide and using my eye. I'm going to remove the backing of the bonder web before I place it down in its final position. I'm then going to press it all in one hit All of the applique pieces have been laid out in their final position. I've removed the backing of the bonder web and it's ready to press down. I did make the teacup up in the right corner, but I wasn't a fan. It was floating and it didn't look like it had any context in with the design. Um, so I'm going to ditch this teacup and I'm going to be adding some floral motives which link in beautifully with her apron and dress colours. It's time to press it all down. So Mrs Tabitha Twitchett is looking good. I'm ready to stitch around all of her pieces with my sewing machine. I'm going to be using a white thread and just a small regular sewing stitch. As you can see, I've got a flower there between her paws. I've tacked it there with a bit of fabric glue because as I stitch her, her arms and her paws, I'm going to be also stitching the flower. Let's get stitching! So I've stitched around Mrs Tabitha Twitchett and she looks very pretty and neat, just like her character. I've pinned my floral motives in their position and I'm going to stitch around them as well. So all of our stitching is complete, I'm going to pack away my sewing machine and give her a good press. So this is what she looks like so far. I'm really happy with how she's turning out. The last and final step is to draw in her finer details, her paws and her facial features. I'm going to be using a light pencil marking first and then mark in her details with the fabric pens and fabric paints. I'm going to be using template number two as my reference.
Tabitha Twitchett is now complete. I've just added in her features and I've added some grey fabric paint onto her face to blend in her tabby markings from the applique and I've just been drying it off. I'm going to give her one last press to seal in the fabric paints and I'll show you what I've done. And here we have my completed Mrs. Tabitha Twitchett applique character square. I'm really happy with how she turned out. As you can see, I've added the grey fabric paint on her fur areas to add a bit of texture and to blend in the brown applique pieces of her tabby markings. I added the floral motifs and my version of Mrs. Tabitha Twitchett does look a bit weightier than the one in the magazine, but that was due to my fabric placement which made her look a bit broader. But you know what they say about the creative arts, it's all a bit subconscious. I hope you've enjoyed making your Mrs. Tabitha Twitchett applique character square. I really did. And I look forward to seeing you next time when we make the Sawtooth Square. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Please hit the subscribe button and the subscribe bell and you'll be notified with up and coming videos. Thank you for joining me. Bye.